Wow, what an incredible backyard. You definitely don't see yards like this in Boston. Yeah, it's a pretty unique space. So there are some really beautiful gardens around our neighborhood that are kind of like a seasonal symphony where there are blooms coming up from May all the way into the fall. I've seen some things that I liked and picked some stuff up from our local garden store, but now I'm a little bit uncertain as to how to arrange them to achieve that kind of effect in our own yard. So I'm hoping you can bring your expertise here and help me recreate that in our own yard. Well, it's one of my most favorite things to do. Uh, I really love how you have a flat surface patio up top and then the terrace is a perfect transition to your backyard. It allows for more level area back here and I'm going to combine plants that I brought and combine them with the ones you brought and then we're going to stage them and see what we could do for your garden. All right, sounds good. All right, so let's start laying them out. Great. Okay, so I got these grasses. These are miscanthus grasses, otherwise known as maiden grass. They get about five feet tall and act as a great backdrop to these planters. Okay, great. That's going to look really nice in the fall and also help to cover up some of this fence space too. Since terraces already have a lot of height in their structure, I want to keep most of the taller plants, like that butterfly bush, in the lower planters. I want to define the entrance to the stairs, so I'm going to mirror the same plants on both sides and give it a nice symmetrical look. So you already have a rose planted here. I'm going to play off that with some salvia and echinacea, and that's going to provide a ton of color. Perfect. I like repeating elements throughout the garden because it makes it feel more cohesive. For the front, I want to add something that will creep over and soften the edges of the planter. So I'll put hens and chicks on one side and thyme on the other. For the upper terrace, I don't want to obstruct your view of the backyard from the patio, so I've picked all short perennials for this space. I like to work in plants like this astilbe because it has beautiful foliage and will be interesting to look at even when it's done flowering. You don't get a lot of sun under this hemlock tree, so it's important to use plants that are shade tolerant. Okay, can you hand me one of the purple ones? There's five of them. Okay, and what is this called? This one's called Semisifuga brunette, otherwise known as snake root. All right, snake root's definitely a little easier to remember. <laughs> I chose this one for the foliage and also because it has this amazing purple spiked white flower in late August, September. That is a bleeding heart. I'm thinking that would look really nice right here, the edge of the bed. Okay. All right, this one is called Baptisia, or false indigo. And we put it, I'm gonna put it right here to anchor this corner. Right here. Excellent. Those are Japanese painted ferns. Why don't we put those under the base of the tree? I have these collets of Thinker Vine that I got. You can space those four to six inches apart. A nice trick with these if you just like squish, squish them to like kind of help them pop out. Okay. And they, oh, they will come out by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but you might have to just dump the whole lot out. I love it. Okay, so this is why I like to stage plants, so you know where they're going before you put them in the ground. Yeah, I can really see what you were going for now. It looks great. Awesome. Well, it's time to get some shovels, and let's get digging. All right. You should dig a hole that's about twice as wide and just as deep as the root ball of the plant. It's also good to tease the roots a little bit before you put the plants into the ground so it doesn't grow around the plant, it'll reach out into the soil. Everything looks incredible. So what I want you to do for every day for the next two weeks, water, water, water. Got it. And then just follow the rain patterns to see what you need to do. Okay. 
We promise to take good care of everything. It's really, this has been incredible. Thank you so much for your help, Jen. Hey, no problem. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.